schools, works canteens, restaurants, pubs and supermarket coffee shops. The biggest change in the nation's shopping basket is that we buy a lot less starch than we did. Our diet's much less bulky than once it was. We eat a third less bread, in spite of the amount of science that goes into making bread on a vast scale. We eat a third less flour, partly because we don't eat biscuits and afternoon tea. And a third less potatoes. Although, mind you, we do compensate for that a little by eating 12 times as many crisps as we did in the 1950s. The biggest drop has been in the sale of oatmeal products. Only a third of the oatmeal that was once sold is now bought by the housewives and the husbands of Britain. But what has increased has been the sale of this sort of cereal. The famous British breakfast of bacon and egg has become less and less popular. Nowadays, only one in six people starts the day with a cooked meal. But the sale of breakfast cereals has doubled. Surprisingly enough, at the top of the food family budget is still milk. We consume more milk than anybody else in Europe. We're 20% of Europe's population, but drink 40% of the milk. Even there, though, the individual trend is still downwards, from five pints each a week down to four. That's partly because of competition from fruit juice, which has gone up three times since the 1950s. But milk products haven't been doing too badly. Sales of yoghurt, for instance, have increased eight times, and cheese by a third. But surprisingly, we're eating less butter and margarine. And whereas we used to eat twice as much butter as Marge, nowadays it's the other way around. The amount of invisible fat that we eat, though, has increased, largely because it's hidden in meat and meat produce. Since 1955, meat consumption has gone up by about 16%. Not because of things like beef and lamb. Consumption there has gone down a little. It's mainly because of the enormous increase in the amount of chickens that we buy. They've gone up 12 times since the 1950s. The consumption of fresh vegetables has dropped by about a fifth as well. But the sales of processed veg have doubled. Frozen peas and beans and tinned beans and tomatoes account for most of that. And in fact, beans on their own make up nearly half of all the canned vegetables sold in Britain. And fruit has done quite well too. It's up 20%, but by European standards, we still eat relatively little fruit. And finally, there's the interesting case of white sugar. We each eat at least 38 kilograms of the stuff per year. That's nearly a bag of sugar each in a week. But sales of white sugar in that form have actually been declining for some years. The trouble is that there's hidden sugar in our diet, not just in jam,